Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to my channel, to all of my existing subscribers, and to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to the first video of 2022. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, yes, I know, we... I always say this, I know I took a long break, blah, 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 whatever, I'm not even gonna get into that. Anyway, <laughs> I've been gone for a minute. I celebrated a birthday, I celebrated some turkey, I celebrated a Christmas, and there's a lot going on. So I have a batch of videos coming for you this month. Hopefully I can get through the whole month, but thank goodness I am going to record all these videos in one day, or at least within the next couple of days. Anyway, as you guys read by the title, saw, to, saw the thumbnail, top 10 sneaker pickups of 2021. Yes, uh, it's funny, I happened to look back at the 2020 sneaker pickups and I realized something about myself. I don't do the typical, the typical sneakers that a lot of people do. And it's not that I don't love the typical ones that you know the sneaker heads are for you know but I like to have a variety of things I mean yes I do love a Jordan one y'all know that yes I love an Air Force one y'all know that too but um as you guys are gonna see in here there's other I have other things besides Jordans and Air Forces kind of sorta <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, let me stop with all the damn rambling and let's get on to the pickups. Okay, let's jump right in with the first shoe. And this shoe, I literally just took off my feet in the past like couple of hours because I went to the grocery store. And this is the Jordan One High Patina. I I picked up the shoe. Funny, it, it's some places it's the Patina. When I bought them, it was the dark rust it, it's under two different names i don't know but i love this freaking shoe this shoe is everything i love to wear it with gray i love to wear it with my black all black sweatsuit my um maroon sweatsuit this goes great with this shoe is great like i said i just took these off um with the black suede i'm sorry with the gray suede black wings on this side and the uh maroon rust swoosh um the black toe this shoe is cool i love it to death um actually my mom even liked the shoe which i thought was weird because she does not let me not say she doesn't like my shoes she doesn't like every shoe that i own let me say it that way but this shoe was uh one of my favorite pickups of the year and i almost forgot i did buy this shoe um in 21 but this was one of my favorite shoes of last year the next shoe on the list is the Air Force One Popcorns. I I remember when the shoe dropped. I don't know if you can really see the color. It is, I think it's blowing out. Hold up, let me get something so you got, so this doesn't blow out on you. But anyway, I remember when the shoe dropped and this is probably like the worst thing to put up on it. Nope, I don't think that's gonna work either. That's all right, um, I'll put a picture up uh, on the side. But this shoe, um, I love this shoe. This shoe is really cool. I don't have a yellow shoe at all. I have to think. I have yellow in shoes, but not a yellow, full yellow shoe. So when I saw this shoe, I thought it was really cool. Um, if you look on the inside there, there's popcorn kernels in there. It even comes with the little golden popcorn kernel on the side. And um, right here written on the side, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. It says fresh since 82 and I love this shoe. Uh, funny thing, 82, we're not gonna tell how old I was. I was really young in 82. I became an aunt the following year. So um, 82, what was I, six or seven? I was, it depends on what part of 82 I was either six or seven. Um, but yeah, this shoe is, of course they're Air Force Ones, they are light as air, they're very comfortable. If you don't have Air Force Ones, I need you to get your life together. Um, but I do love this shoe. Uh, if you look at the, if you have a, the shoe box at home, it came with the um, tissue paper, like uh, popcorn tent, like uh, old school popcorn um, buckets. 
at the movies. So, um, like I said, this is a great shoe. I love wearing it. I get a lot of compliments also when I wear this shoe, so it's a really fun shoe. Okay, and the next shoe on the list are the Air Force One um, Fontica. These are the Have a Nice Game shoes. You guys actually saw these shoes sit behind me in another video, in a previous video last year. Um, I found out later on that night or the couple of nights later that these shoes actually grow, glow in the dark. Um, all of the um, bottom sole and different pieces of the shoes actually glow in the dark and these pieces are removable. So um, this is a fun shoe to wear. I love the color combo. It's just, it's like the twist on a regular Air Force One, but is a fun twist on Air Force One. If you want to just throw on a, a cool pair of Air Force Ones, I think I do have the basic white Air Force Ones. Don't get me wrong. I love a classic white of Forces. But when you can get your hands on a fun pair of Air Force Ones like these and they glow in the dark, come on. You have to get a fun pair of forces and like I said about the previous forces these are light as air they're very comfortable they're very stylish you can wear with anything and um like I said I just th this is just a fun shoe and the next shoe I'm gonna show is a shoe that I never thought I would purchase one of my nieces she knows because <laughs> we we kind of had a little conversation via Instagram about Nike Dunks and I told her I don't like Nike Dunks, but I like the highs. Dunk lows, I don't know what it is, and I think it's because of the way the swoop, the long swoosh goes across. It's weird to me. I don't know. Even though these, I believe, were out before Jordans, I don't know why I'd never been a big Dunk fan. But when I saw this, hell black and white freaking tuxedo it's like a tuxedo i mean one of my favorite pairs of jordans is the um jordan one twist and that's um i've i think the black is pony hair if i want to if i'm not mistaken that's one of my favorite pairs of jordans that i own back behind me which are still in boxes but when i got these man i was like okay <laughs> I had to get these. These are a really great shoe. Um, Dunks have been making a really huge comeback in the past, like, what, two years, I want to say. And from what I'm hearing, Dunks are not going away. 2022, we got a lot of Dunk Dunks, a lot of Dunks coming through on everybody. Who knows? Who knows? I might have another. I might get another pair. You never know. I might get another pair. I did miss out on a pair of pink, like um, they looked knitted. Um, they they kind of gave me blank. They kind of gave me grandma blanket feels, and I really loved them. But I missed out on them. But these right here are really cool. I love them. They're a classic silhouette. They are a classic colorway that you can wear. Like I said, you can wear with anything. I'm gonna say this. Majority of the uh, majority of the shoes you're gonna see are shoes you can wear with any that I feel you can wear with anything. Hell, if I was getting married and I had to wear a wedding dress, this would probably be what I'm wearing underneath it, if not a Jordan one or force, whatever. But these shoes are really great. I love the black and white colorway and um yeah, and I have worn them at least once. They look good for worn once. But yeah, I never thought I could would get a pair of dunks and I got a pair. And the next shoe that I have, my, my next uh, pickup that I was happy to get this past year is actually a shoe I didn't think I was going to get. <laughs> I was like, this was a shock. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you know what shoe this is. And I even talked about, I think, and if you look at the comments, I said, I did not think I was going to get this shoe. Um... And I'm uh, possibly doing a no buy the first quarter of this year. And for me to get this shoe was like the biggest shock. But these are the Jordan High A Ma Marie. And I think hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is, um, let's see, purple snake skin. And I want to say this is white. I can't remember. But um, 
This shoe is freaking awesome. I have not worn them yet. As you see, they are not uh, laced up yet. I have not worn them, but this was a pickup that um, I didn't think I was going to get. Like I said, um, I did get the uh, Jordan 1 Bordeaux. These are, they are not on this list. I'm just going to let you know off top why they're not on this list. Don't ask. I just, I don't know. Don't, don't ask, but they are. In my heart, I love them. So to get those two back, to get those and these back to back, we're like, wow, Sway. I don't know how I did it, but I got these. I love them to death. I know they're going to be very comfortable. I Like I said, I just haven't worn them yet. Um, I just haven't found the right outfit that I want to, you know, grace the presence, but hopefully I'm looking at new clothes over here. Maybe I got something I can pull. I don't know, but hell, I don't care. I can wear a potato sack. I will wear these damn shoes soon enough, but oh yeah, that's right. I've been doing a lot of stuff that I really didn't want to mess my shoes up, but yeah, these were the lucky pickup. I didn't think I was going to get, I'm super glad that I got them. <laughs> so, I mean, the sneaker gods were smiling on me on these and the next shoe on my list is another like I said I, if you guys saw the video last year I have it linked up above um I told you guys Air Max 90s are not my favorite shoe unless it's a great colorway and this had to be the colorway of the year these are the Air Max 90 bacons um I actually have them laced with two different laces I did that on purpose because I just want to do something fun with my shoes I like sometimes I like to do something different so I will hold the left shoe because I'm a lefty um because I as you guys if you guys remember the video last year I told you I'm not a big bubble not a big fan of the bubble but still end up buying Air Max 90s anyway because I like the colors these are like I said a super comfortable shoe um I wore these I get I get a lot of compliments with these I love this shoe I remember when that uh when they when I heard about them and I was like bacon what the crap bacon I thought it was really funny that they're called bacons and if you kind of look at them they are the color of raw bacon and some cooked pieces too um funny thing is that I did not get these on drop day I actually got these shoes um a few weeks later they did a surprise they did a surprise uh drop later and I was able to get them, thank goodness, because I really wanted these shoes and I wasn't able to grab them on drop day. And I think they were just like, oh, you know, she didn't get them going to send them to her. And I was like, thank you. I got the bacon. So I'm so happy. I love these shoes. I love wearing them. Um, I think they're just, they're really fun. And this colorway is really, really fun. And I really, I, like I said, I really like wearing them. All right, and the next shoe on the list. This is a shoe, and you guys kind of saw it. Uh, I didn't get the shoe on drop day. Also, this shoe I actually picked up. Um, I happened to be in the mall, and I went to Champs, and they were sitting there. And I said, do you have a size nine? And they said, yes. This is the Jordan 5 Bluebirds. <laughs> I did not think I was going to get the shoe. Um, did I try for these on drop day? I think I did try for these on drop day and I didn't get them. This was another crap. I didn't get them shoe, but I looked up on them at uh, champs at the mall and was able to grab them. Uh, they happened to have my size and I was like, duh, hell yeah, I'm gonna grab these mugs. So um, I was like, I don't know why I'm trying. It was funny. It was funny. I We were in the mall. Oh, I was Christmas shopping. <laughs> no, was I Christmas shopping? Yes, I was Christmas shopping. No, I was not Christmas shopping. I'm sorry. We were in the mall for some reason. I think we were going to go. I was doing a return elsewhere. So I said, well, let me hit the sneaker stores, do the roundup real quick and then bounce. And because I was going to Lowe's to go buy more paint. I am so glad I am done buying paint. That's another conversation for another day. When you guys see my full condo reveal in progress, there's a lot of paint. There was a lot of paint that was purchased, but I was supposed to be buying paint and I bought these instead. So 
I don't know. <laughs> but no, for real, um, I was able to pick these up from my local champ store at the Galleria here in St. Louis. And I looked up on them. So I was just like, if I don't hear it, if I don't buy these, I'd be a damn idiot if I didn't. So yes, I do have the Jordan 5 Bluebirds and a women's size 9. Oh, real quick. All my shoes are in a women's size nine or a men's seven and a half. That is the size I wear. If you sneak and see a men's seven, that means I've lost my brain. There is a shoe back here that is a men's size seven. I need to try to see if I can trade it out. I've only worn them once to get a seven and a half. If not, I'm still keeping the damn shoe. I'm probably can wear them. That's a women's eight and a half. So I'll just like kind of wear them around the house or something. But uh, that is my shoe size. And <laughs> these shoes are great. I mean, I, I freaking love these shoes. And the next shoe is, um, it's funny, last year's video, and I keep referencing last year's video. Uh, the honorable mention was an Adidas shoe, which was part of the Beyonce Ivy Park collection. I think it was like one of the early collections last year. Well, this shoe doesn't get an honorable mention this year. We got the Ivy Park Super Sleek Boot and White this year. Um, this boot, here's my thing, and, I, and right now it's winter time, so this boot is going to be perfect for this winter. Um, I've not worn these shoes. These shoes were actually in a picture, and I think the picture hit Instagram. I don't remember off the top of my head if I was able to post, because all you saw was my feet. <laughs> in the picture I'm sitting on my desk I'm sitting at my desk and my feet are shown in these big ass boots <laughs> these boots are gigantosaurus rex I, I really like this shoe I thought it was a really cool shoe when I saw it and of course if you guys know me you know I don't like the standard I'm not a big standard shoe or bag or just a standard stuff person so when I saw these I had to run and grab them. I did not get anything from uh, the Halls of Ivy Park collection. It was this shoe. It, this shoe was in there, but in brown. So I was just like, I already have them, so I don't need them again. But this is a really fun shoe to have. Um, like I said, these are gonna work very well in the. I'm gonna see how these work really in the winter time when it gets really really cold. Like. Um, Actually, it's going to get real cold for like a couple of days. I'm filming this before you guys see it. So um, I think it's already been cold or it's cold the day you see it here in St. Louis. But um, this is a real fun shoe. It, it is a heavy boot. I'm going to say this off the top. It is weighty. So if this is a shoe, if you're looking to buy like the super sleek boots, they're super sleek in look, but they are heavy. They are a bit heavy. So just to let y'all know. Okay. And the next to last shoe that I have, and I'm going to read it off from <laughs> my list here because it's a long name. These are the Nike Waffle Sakai Clot Kiss of Death 2 in cool gray yes i was able to pick these shoes up i did not i have been trying to get a pair of the nike sakai um collabs for probably the past couple of years i have not been able to get any 2021 i got two pair i got the cool the um i got the kiss of death and i got the um ld waffle sakai undercover night maroon Team Royal, I got those two. Those are sitting back here behind me. They were, did not make the list. I didn't want to do doubles on the list because that was one of, this is the only shoe I was able to get a double on. Was it the only shoe I was able to get a double on? Yeah, because I didn't get the cause, the other color. I only got the purple cause. Yes, I did get the purple cause. I did not show those. Um, I think I might've put them on my Instagram. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I was able to get these. These are comfortable. These are super comfortable. And I love the fact that it is a double string. It actually comes with another set of strings if I want to change out some of them. Um, I might. I don't know yet. The double tongues. I mean, just this shoe is freaking awesome. Um, I, I thought it would just be a shoe that I would put up behind me. And I'm going to put a picture here of what's behind me. My four. The, those are my four favorite shoes of them all that I own 
yeah, yeah, they're my four favorites. Um, these would probably be up there. I would have to take a shoe off and put these in because this is a shoe, like I said, I did not think I was gonna get, but I got. Now I can go to bed, now I can go to sleep, now I can take a nap. But man, I'm so happy I got these. And the last shoe in my top 10 is something you guys wouldn't expect. But if you guys look back at last year's video, the space hippies were probably a shoe a lot of people wouldn't have put in their top 10 but this shoe i am putting in my top 10 these are the crater impact uh shoes in the football gray and i'm gonna tell you why these shoes are in my top 10 because they are the most comfortable shoes that i own i mean all these shoes are comfortable. Well, we ain't gonna talk about the Ivy part. <laughs> We're gonna take that out. But um, these shoes are just ridiculously comfortable. If I um, if I didn't just buy these shoes, if these were just like some throw around shoes, um, these shoes would have been what I would have worn during my move. These shoes would have been the shoes I wore when I painted my home because these shoes are the most comfortable, comfortable, comfortable shoes ever. They are made out of recyclable materials on the bottom, as you guys can see. Um, I, they have been worn uh, several times. This shoe is crazy comfortable. I, like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, I don't have the typical heat in this video because I rate my shoes based upon one, how many times I wore them. Two, if I just really, if they were just totally different and you didn't see a lot of people on them that, and I ended up really liking them. Those are my qualifications. Those are my, my true qualifications of a shoe. And there's like a hair on my face. Anyway, those are kind of my qualifications for shoes, but these shoes are really cool. I'm actually looking at possibly getting another pair in uh, the dark brown but I don't know if I'm going to get them or not, but it'll be a minute before I get another pair. Well, we'll see. I keep saying it'll be a minute, but we'll see. Um, I may get those. I may not. Don't know. But these shoes, uh, these shoes are light as air. If you guys don't get any, if you want a really good, comfortable shoe, get these. Honorable mention. All right, we got, I have two honorable mentions this year. Um, reason why I have two, well, you'll know in a second. First honorable mention is right behind me. These are the Air Force One Shadow Go The Extra Smile shoes. Um, and I'm not even going to talk about my love of Air Force Ones, the Shadow series, which I really love the Shadow series right now. I'm loving what they're doing. Um, I love this. <laughs> I really, really love this smiling swoosh. Um, it's really, it, it really, it, it makes, it really, it just makes me smile. <laughs> and if you look on the inside, it says go the extra smile. Um, I've worn these, I think once or twice already and they have a bit of a gum sole and I really love that. Um, the reason why this shoe was an honorable mention, it didn't go into my top 10, I think is because, um, it was way too many. I had way too many shoes to pick from that I grabbed this year. Um, I had a three month period that I did not buy any shoes, but then when I got back to buying shoes, I went on a, I went on a freaking, I, I lost my mind. This shoe I picked up uh, via Nordstrom. I was able, I actually had a, um, early access to these, but I was not able to get them on early access due to something that, um, something else happened. I wasn't able to grab them on early access, but then I was able to catch them on Nordstrom, grabbed them on Nordstrom and then the Nike app got them later, whatever, no big deal, no sweat, but no, this shoe was, um, I just love the shoe. It's just really, it makes me happy. It does. It literally makes me happy. And I'm glad I picked them up. And the last shoe, that's an honorable mention. This shoe was not purchased in 2021. This shoe actually dropped in 2018, but I did not get, but for some reason, I remember grabbing this shoe in 2020, 2021. I don't know what. 
and I'm still kind of looking to see if I can find my receipt. But I believe I grabbed these in 2021 because I remember getting these shoes um, during the panorama. I don't know why, but remember 2020, 2021, I was one year. Basically, it was 24 months of one, 24, really 12 months of one. Um, it was really one year. Uh, the shoe that I'm talking about is the Jordan High um, Season of Her Purple Earth shoe. Reason why this shoe is in this video is because this is the shoe I wore for closing when I closed on this house. It was actually going to be, where is it? It's right here. Oh, and of course, of course I dropped the shoe. Um, actually the patina was the other shoe that was possibly going to be the shoe I was going to wear to my closing, but I could not find the right outfit to wear with them. So, um, I went with this shoe. Um, I had to wear a Jordan when I closed in my house. I had to wear a Jordan. Um, I wore like a black t-shirt, pair of wide leg pants and a purple Jordan when I closed in my home. This shoe was the shoe that I chose for my closing. And like I said, this shoe did not come out then, but I wanted this shoe to be the shoe. And um, yeah, it was... It, I love this shoe and I'm so glad that this shoe was in my special day and I'm glad to be able to show the shoe in this video. So, but, um, got the satin toe box, suede, satin swoosh. The, um, wings are actually a metal, feels like a purple metal. And I love that it's, um, monochromatic on the wings. So, but yeah, these are. Um, this is my second honorable mention, the season of her and uh, purple earth. And that's it for this video. Hopefully this video did not run long and I think it ran kind of long. So I'm going to do some chops. I'm going to chop as much as I possibly can. And I think that's what happened last year because <laughs> I think I went over 25 minutes. So that means I'm going to try to chop this down to at least 20 minutes. So sorry about that. Sorry for talking way too much. But as y'all know, I love a good sneaker. So, um, I am going to get out of here, but first, before I leave, if you guys like videos like this and want to see more sneaker videos, <laughs> don't forget to like, and subscribe, liking and subscribing are free of charge. You don't have to pay anything, but you get to see all my antics when it comes to sneakers, handbags, hair, lifestyle, basically just lifestyle stuff. So. Um, also, if you guys don't feel like watching a video, but you want to read something, I have a blog called sneakersandhandbags.net. That's going to be linked below new. We're going to, I have new posts coming for this year. Uh, first post will be out this coming Wednesday. All my posts hit Wednesday morning around nine o'clock. So you guys have all day to, to read and all the way to the next one. So that is it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I got to go film the thumbnail. I need to get the thumbnail for all these shoes and get this ready to go. And that is all. Um, if you guys have any questions on any of these shoes, I'm going to have links for all the shoes below. All my links are already ready. I need to just do the links for these two shoes right here. Um, and that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I have two more videos to record today. So you're going to see the same outfit two more times. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my shirt. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to get out of here. So if you got, uh, so that's it. Love, peace and hair products and lifestyle and all that fun stuff. Bye.